Madam Speaker, it's now my pleasure to yield two minutes to the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Pittenger. Gentleman from North Carolina, recognized for two minutes. Thank you, gentlelady, for yielding me this time. Madam Speaker, I rise today in support of the Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act and many other legislation that we will consider today. I also rise in support of Antonia, Maria, and Rosa, three wonderful ladies from Charlotte who fell victim to human trafficking. Maria was trapped when she answered an ad for an aspiring actress. Rosa was snatched from a local gas station while waiting for a ride. Antonia dreamed of owning a bakery before falling victim to human trafficking. These women aren't statistics. They're individuals whom I know from Charlotte, ordinary women, someone's daughter, someone's granddaughter. Yet at a very young age, they were forced into modern-day slavery. According to the Department of Homeland Security, trafficking is a $32 billion a year industry, and the average age for a girl entering the commercial sex trade is just 12 to 14 years old. Madam Speaker, this is one of the most heinous of crimes. As members of Congress, we have a constitutional and a moral obligation to protect the most vulnerable in our society from this horrific exploitation. Increased awareness and education is a critical first step in breaking the cycle of exploitation here in the United States and around the world. Today we have the opportunity to take legislative action, voting on five bills which will help people like Antonia, Maria, and Rosa. Today we can vote to enhance victim assistance programs, give law enforcement better tools to catch the scum whom we call traffickers and facilitators and fix some of the loopholes exploited by traffickers. Thank you to Mr. Goodlatte, to Judge Poe, to Ms. Maloney, to um, Susan Brooks, to many others who were involved in this very important effort. Thank you to the Majority Leader for his involvement, to all the members of the Trafficking Task Force, and thank you to each member who will support this very important cause. Thank you to Antonia Childs of Charlotte, who has dedicated her life in helping other women escape from modern-day slavery. Maria and Rosa wouldn't be freed today to recovery without you. I urge my colleagues today to support anti-trafficking legislation before us today. Thank you.